All right, so a student has asked a question, and every time someone asks a question, that's a signal to me they want to learn something, so I always try my best to answer questions. The question has to do with something that I've called the tiny balance sheet method. I got this from my preferred textbook for learning about finance. It is um, Fundamentals of Agribusiness Finance by Battles and Thompson. I like this book because it has all the relevant information and it's inexpensive. If you look on page 88 and 89, the book discusses solvency ratio and puts forth the claim that if you know one of the solvency ratios, you can use it to back out all of the others. So you only need to know one of them and you can know the rest. Well, why is that? Because all of these solvency ratios use two elements of our fundamental accounting identity, and there's only three knowns in the fundamental accounting identity. So if we know the liabilities and the equity, then we can figure out the assets. Let me show you what I mean. So here is the debt to equity ratio or the liabilities to equity ratio because liabilities means debt. Debt means liabilities. Equity means net worth. If hypothetically we have a number, say 75 cents. So if the debt to equity ratio, the liabilities to equity ratio is 7.75, that is a ratio that is 0.75 to one, meaning for every 75 cents of liabilities, this business has a dollar in net worth. Every 75 cents in debt, we have a dollar of equity. We can look at this and without knowing the actual real numbers, we can say they've got 75 cents in debt and a dollar in equity. Now we go back to the fundamental accounting identity Assets have to be equal to liabilities plus equity. It's an identity, not a formula or an equation. It must always be true. That's what makes an identity an identity. So we just plug the numbers in. We know the liabilities are 75 cents. We know the equity is a dollar. So we plug those in, add them up, and we know we have a dollar 75 worth of assets. Now we know all of the information on the balance sheet. We know our assets, we know our liabilities, we know our equity. And if we know that, we can start plugging numbers into all of the rest of the formulas and figure them all out. So the debt to asset ratio would be our liabilities, which we knew before they were 75 cents and the assets we just figured out. So we just plug those numbers into the formula, 75 cents over a buck 75, and we do the math and I'm getting a, a debt to asset ratio of 0.43. As always, never be afraid to double check my math to make sure I'm right. And if you will apply this method, lather, rinse, repeat, if you know any single solvency ratio, no matter what the solvency ratio is, you can back out all the rest of them. They're all tied together. Again, that's because there is only three elements to our fundamental accounting identity and all of these ratios show you two of the three. So with a little bit of math, you can back out the third.